And by your own admission, you don't really sort of follow off of um, pre-existing comedians. Um, but do you have like a favourite joke that you can sort of remember before, maybe before entering comedy or as you were entering comedy, perhaps? Or is there one that you that you enjoy telling now, or is it? Do you just uh, play with it every different every time? Yeah, it's different, and the, you can't really share jokes like that because then they're lost. If it was my favourite joke and I told you it, yeah, <laughs> it would be lost to all your three thousand followers. Uh, that's, that's, that's very true. That's very true. Yeah. Um, earlier this year, uh, Coastal Comedy won a very prestigious uh, award, one of the BH Stars Awards. Yeah. Was it? The, it was uh, the night time, the nightlife award or the night out award? Yes, the uh, night time award. Yes, yeah. so the best night out in form of mm. I mean, form, yeah. How, how does it feel knowing that that is the the level of success that you've achieved from something that you started? Yeah, I mean, I'm very proud of it, but I'm also worried about you as people because what would you do if it wasn't for coastal comedy? You'd be kicking around Harry <laughs> Ramsden's with a spot off the seagulls. I don't know. I think, um, I think you know, the nightlife and everything is great. I mean, it's fantastic to be part of, of the tourism here in the community. I feel the love, you know, absolutely feel the love from, from Bournemouth and Paul as well. Yeah. And I'm um, very, very grateful to everyone that has ever bought a ticket, really. And all the acts, I mean, it's the acts that makes, that makes it. And yeah. that's my main fulfilment is if I can fill a room with people and they are laughing their heads off yeah. at something that I've actually just put together, there is no feeling like it for me. The fulfilment is massive, so I'm very, very proud of it. Yeah, right, and rightfully so. And in terms of the act actually coming down to Bournemouth, I mean, yeah, how, how have they sort of reacted to it as an audience? Because obviously you've had some big names. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're fine, yeah. yeah. I mean, it is a bit of a trek, but um, I've got a very good reputation on the circuit. Oh. So I do have quite a few approaches, you know, obviously not from the big stars, but a lot of comics come to me and, and request a spot as well. So, sure. so that's really helped me in, um, you know, as I've been growing, really, yeah. yeah. But it's, but the circuit, it's not that massive, so word gets around. If it's a good gig and it's run well and, you know, you pay all the acts on time and everything, and that's all of massive help. Yeah, yeah, I see. Okay. Now then, in a couple of weeks, yes. you have quite a big show yeah. coming up, don't you? Yeah. Um, well, can you tell us more about it? Is yeah, it? so um, we're at Hotel Celebrity still every month. Mm -hmm. um, that's where we started and I, I just love Hotel Celebrity so you know that's not going to change anytime soon but from that I'm now at the Lighthouse in Paul so I'm, yeah. I've been in the studio for over a year now which is the 130 seater yeah. but in February this year we took a big step up to the 650 seater and I had Lee Nelson headline that and it sold out so um, from that now we're doing the big, we call it, I call it Coastal Comedy Colossal and Fantastic. I'm bringing the really big stars down. Mm. Um, so on the 5th of October, I've got Zoe Lyons and Ben Norris supporting Tom yeah. Spade okay. in the big 650 seat theatre. So Fantastic. that's really exciting. Yeah. That is a, a day of massive excitement. <laughs> 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 and yeah. stress as well, I'm yes, sure. Yes, it is a bit stressful, mm. but um, it's all good. So yeah, you've had the likes of, just to name a few, Ed Gamble, Larry Dean, you mentioned Lee Nelson just yeah. then, you know, the established comedy stars and rising stars as well. Do you think as Coastal Comedy's reputation grows, you think you're going to sort of clinch those, the major stars on the circuit? Yes, I mean, I'm not looking to go up a further echelon just now, no. um, because it's, um, you know, I'm, I feel very fulfilled actually as, yeah. as a person and, and how it's all gone. So I think, you know, the stress levels if I do get the 1500 seat, for example, at the lighthouse, <laughs> <laughs> I might um, have to have a long lie down. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with how it is. I've got a fantastic lineup on the 5th of October, yeah. and I've also already secured Lost Voice Guy for the 1st of February, and okay. I'm quarterly in the big theatre next year. Okay. So um, yeah, so so that for me is a huge, huge, you know, 
an ambition, you know, that I didn't even aspire to achieve, but through my sort of really hard work, I mean, I must say, I work so hard at it, um, and through my skills in marketing, um, and, you know, basically the fantastic acts that I book, I've managed to reach that, so uh, maybe I'm not that ambitious, but I'm not looking to um, go up another level just now, but okay. maybe in a year's time I'll be saying something different now. <laughs> <laughs> well, who knows, well best of luck either yeah. way. Thank but, you. And thank you for joining us. Thanks so much, thank you.